is in the Headingham neighborhood, the Raleigh neighborhood where all of this played out. Liliana, these conversations, they must have been intense. Molly, Jamie, the people that I have talked to today are still shell-shocked. It's really hard to believe everything that has played out here just in the last 24 hours. Right behind me, you're actually able to see the home that's still at the center of this investigation. Right now, we are working to learn from police why they are continuing to hone in on this property right here. But meanwhile, I talked to somebody who lives just two doors up. He told me what it was like to come home and find his wife dead on their front porch. She took good care of you know, our family, took, it good, took good care of me. Tracy Howard says he was on his way back from the store when he first noticed his neighbor, 55-year-old Marcel Gardner, laying in his front yard bleeding. So I came up to, you know, started to walk up to the house to get my wife to see what was going on. And I, that's what I seen the dog and Nicole, she was laying down here. 52-year-old Nicole Connors and their dog Sammy both died. Gardner was taken to the hospital where Howard tells me she had surgery. Tracy, numb and shaken, is back at his home for the first time after finding his wife. She's you know, said, you know, she's a fun-loving, bubbly person. Less than a mile away is the home of 29-year-old Raleigh police officer Gabriel Torres. Police tell us he was shot and killed as he was about to head to work. His neighbor, Elizabeth Starlipper, says she found out about the act of shooting when her boyfriend called her last night. Um, but he called me and told me not to come home. The officer Torres was shot. Torres lives in the next home over. They had a close friendship, and now they're left without him. But he seemed, he was crying, so it, it, it felt real. But it feels like a dream still. A third person killed was 16-year-old James Thompson, a junior at Nightdale High School. Superintendent Keith Richardson said in a statement, it's an unexpected loss, and we are saddened by it. The school sent its condolences and is offering grief counseling to students. And those people that I mentioned are just some of those who were either hurt or lost their lives. Today, the community also remembers 49-year-old Susan Carnatz and 35-year-old Mary Marshall. Officer Casey Clark was also hurt, but we're told that she has since been released from the hospital. From Raleigh, I'm Liliana Pearson, WBTV, on your side. And seeing their faces makes it so real, Liliana. All innocent people in this. Thank you, Jamie.